Hey folks, it's year 2021. Today we present to you our new Model B, Chapstick Buddies. Yeah, they look like simple attachments to plain chopsticks. They are. But you see, they create a space between the thumb and the ring finger. For a lot of people, this is a more comfortable posture for using chopsticks. Other than that, you work your chopsticks as usual, with the standard, traditional grip. They fulfill the same goals as our Model H finger helpers. You are looking at the ring finger version of it. Finger helpers can only be used with Model T training chopsticks. That is not the case with chopstick buddies. Let's take a look at key differences between using and not using chopstick buddies. I want you to keep an eye on the joint between the tip of the thumb and the base of the thumb. See how it's flattened with plain chopsticks and bent with chopstick buddies. There are two flavors of chopstick buddies. Model B1 comes in a single piece. You'll notice that there is an L-shaped channel in between the trapezoid prison and the sleeve part of the body. That channel is used with an adjustment strip to fasten a chopstick body to your favorite chopstick. Here's the same chopstick body printed by Selective Laser Sintering. They came out with better precision and nicer texture. The Model B2 comes in two pieces. The trapezoid cap and the chopstick sleeve are printed separately. As a result, they can be made to different sizes and used in combination. The two pieces are connected securely by a Maltese and tenon joint. Here we printed the cap in two sizes, narrowed and wide. We printed the sleeves in four sizes, small, regular, large, and extra large. Behind them is a long adjustment strip. You can trim it to your liking to fit the chopsticks of your choice. Have I mentioned that you can print them all at home on your 3D printer? Look in the video description for links. We're going to assemble the two-piece bodies. First, you need to decide which size of sleeve to use for your favorite chapstick. Now take the cap of your choice, simply snap it onto the sleeve. I'm using this chapstick's body as a thumb rest. Now I'll attach a second chopstick body to support my ring finger. I have chosen a narrow cap to support my ring finger. However, some people find the opposite to be more comfortable. That is, a wide cap for the ring finger and a narrow cap for the base of the thumb. Now proceed to use your chopsticks using the standard grip. If you don't know how to use the standard grip, look in the video description for links. So none of the sleeve sizes fit your chopstick perfectly. Well, that's what that triangular channel is for. This is the adjustment strip you saw earlier on the print bed.
Use it as a wedge to fasten the chopstick body to the right place. Make marks on the strip so you know how to trim it. That's it. It's quite easy. Perhaps you don't have that adjustment strip. Don't worry. You've got plenty of stuff in your house that you can use as a wedge. For example, a simple cotton swab. Sometimes the cotton swab works even better than the adjustment strip because it's a lot more flexible. Again, we printed this with selective laser sintering. They came out very, very nice.